Well, welcome back to my channel and to a trail camera review. Today, it's a cellular trail camera from a brand new company called Camo Jojo. Now, this is their model Trace, and it offers things like a live view, built in GPS, and no need for an SD card. It operates on the 4G network, and it has a two year warranty. I'm going to do a quick unboxing, show exactly what you get. I'll give you my initial thoughts after I see this for the first time. But then most importantly, I'm going to put this camera to work. I'm going to use it for a couple of months and I'll be able to show you sample photos and videos. It's a brand new company and a brand new camera. So if there's some hiccups or things that need improved, I'll definitely share my thoughts on those. But first, let's get into the unboxing. So here is the packaging. Again, it is the Camo Jojo Trace. Here's some of the advertised specs uh, on the camera. Has lots of information here on the sides of the packaging. And of course on the back, if you want to pause and get another look at that, you can. Uh, we're going to dig inside the box and see what we get. Inside the package, we get the actual trail camera. We'll take a closer look at that in just a second. We also get a tree strap. We also get some sort of uh, charge adapter, it looks like, and a USB cable. Uh, on this side, we have a mount. Uh, have to see exactly how that works, but it does look like the tree strap might fit inside of there. And of course, we get a user's manual and a quick start guide. So let's take a closer look at the camera. Um, right on top here, you'll notice a movable antenna. And that is an antenna that uh, is supposed to be low profile, but yet give you even better signal than most other cellular trail cameras. Uh, you do have your lens and your PIR sensor. Uh, on the side, there's just one large latch. It's pretty easy to open, uh, even with one hand. Inside, uh, you have your display screen. It's gonna give you uh, your signal strength. Uh, you'll also get your battery life and your connectivity. Uh, you do have a release button for the batteries. And this camera is powered uh, by 12 AA batteries, both on the back and on the front. Uh, that slips inside of there, has a nice uh, seal around there to keep moisture out. On the bottom here, you will see that it has a quarter 20 mount, and it also has a place for a solar panel or external power port. And you can see, uh, I guess I have it upside down, you can see that it is a six bolt uh, external power port on this camera. On the side here, you will see a USB port, uh, but one thing you won't see is any SD card slot because uh, remember, it has an internal built-in SD card. Uh, here is a place for your SIM card, and it looks like it comes pre-installed uh, with that AT&T SIM card. On the back of the camera, uh, it does have a place for a tree strap and it, it accepts a security cable. Uh, you can put a Python cable through there and to uh, help secure your camera. Uh, you'll also notice this included mount, I noticed, uh, will slip right down inside of there. And so you can uh, choose to strap that to the tree. Uh, this can give you some movement and of course you can tighten that, uh, allow you to get different angles. Uh, so you have two choices there. Uh, you can simply press on that button and slide that down. Uh, you can use your tree strap right here on the camera like any traditional trail cameras or you can choose to put your tree strap on here and have that adjustability uh, with this included mount. So next I'll install 12 AA batteries, activate this camera and then put it to work. That way I can show you things like sample photos and videos. I'll show you how the app works and that live view feature. This camera is also capable of sending full length videos, unlike most cellular trail cameras. So lots more right ahead. Let's put this thing to work. Well, it has been over three months since that unboxing footage that you just saw. I've actually been using a couple of the Trace cellular trail cameras. So I have plenty of sample photos and videos to show you. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts, the pros and cons as I see it, after actually using these cameras for over three months. But first, I'm gonna show you what the app looks like, what some of the special features that this camera offers that virtually no other trail camera offers. So let's dig into the app. So when you open up their app, if you have multiple cameras like I do, uh, you can simply click on the different cameras and it brings up a list of your active cameras. Uh, if you scroll down, you can click the live feature. 
Now, as it loads here, this live feature is something that very few trail cameras offer, especially traditional looking or traditional style cellular trail cameras. Uh, when you click the live feature, it takes a moment uh, to load it up. Uh, it kind of clicks through there and shows you its progress. Uh, and then it gives you the live view of exactly what your camera's seeing in near real time. So as you can see here, it has a counter. It's counting uh, exactly what time it is. And you have the option of taking a photo or a video at this point uh, if you would want to take a still shot of exactly what the camera's seeing at this very moment, you can do that. So this live feature is great because you can log into your camera and actually see what your camera's seeing. This also makes it great for setting up your camera. You can get it at just the perfect angle. Uh, no more uh, misdirecting the camera's angle and only catching the top half or the bottom half of animals. You can use this live feature for both setup and at any time you can check in on your camera by logging into this live view. Now, if we go back out to the main settings, uh, you can click the settings. And at this point, uh, it brings up all the different settings that are available on the camera. Uh, you can change things like the send frequency, how quickly it's gonna send you that photo or video after it takes it. And the multi-shot, you can set that up uh, for one to three pictures at a time when you have it on picture mode. Uh, if we go on down here, you have control of the PIR sensitivity. You can see here from zero to nine, I'm running it on a very high setting and that's simply because it's in a pretty open field. If you're in the woods or somewhere that there's possible blowing grass or branches, you're definitely gonna wanna run it a, a lot lower than that. I think another camera that I have in a more wooded setting, I'm running probably a four or a five right in the middle sensitivity. Uh, if we back one out there, we go on down here and you can adjust the flash power you can have high or low so that can adjust the, the power of your night IR lights uh, how far you want them to light up remember on the highest setting you're going to be using a little bit more battery power uh, of course there's different options here of turning the water stamp uh, on or off so many different things here in the camera settings now let's go into the actual photos if you click on here, it'll actually give you thumbnails of recorded uh, past events that the camera has. Uh, it tells you whether it's a photo or video. I love running my cameras on video mode, so a lot of these are video. Uh, you can click on any video you choose. You can bring it up and play it back right here through the app. Now being able to play your videos back here in the app is something that really sets this camera apart from a lot of other cellular trail cameras. Many other cellular trail cameras make you download that video or request an HD version. With this Trace cellular trail camera, you can view your video right here on the app. Now, if you do choose to download the HD version, you can get that high definition video sent right to your phone. But anytime you have this camera on video mode, you can watch the 10 second video right here on your app. So over the past three months that I've been using these cameras, there have been a number of different firmware updates. So that's great to see that they're continuing to improve their product and they're not just simply selling a camera that they have no plans of improving in the future. I wanna show you sample photos and videos that I've been receiving from this camera. You can judge things like the quality of the photo and video, look for the nighttime illumination, how well that is, look for night blur or motion blur if animals are moving. Check out these samples from the Camo Jojo Trace. Well, you've been watching sample photos and videos that I've received from the Trace Cider Trail Camera. I'll continue to show you more, but right now it is time for my final thoughts. I'm gonna give you the pros as I see it after using the camera and a couple of things that I think they could still improve. Now, the first thing with this trail camera that's in the positive column is its easy setup. This camera offers NFC technology. Now, I didn't really know what that is and you might not know what that is, 
but it makes setup quick and easy. In fact, I would say this is one of the easiest cider trail cameras I've ever set up. Once I downloaded the app and set up my account, I could use that NFC technology to sync my camera to the app. Now I've seen the commercials where you can simply take your phone and tap it and pay for something. I've never used that technology, but that's what they're using to sync your camera to your app. It's as simple as taking my smartphone, tapping it on the camera, and they were linked together near instantly. It's an extremely quick and easy process. I give a big thumbs up to Camo Jojo for integrating this technology. It's one of the only trail cameras I know that's using that. Another positive is its photo and video quality. I thought it was excellent. Now I've been running these cameras again for quite a few months now, so I used them in a variety of different backgrounds and areas from pretty open fields to a more wooded area. I've used them during the summertime into the fall and now winter time. The photo and video quality was very good. The night illumination of the IR bulbs evenly distributes the light. I was impressed how well you could see and how far you could see. The trigger distance and the trigger speed all seem more than acceptable. In fact, I thought they were very good. I would have small animals in a far distance that could trigger this camera and it seemed to always capture the action. Another positive for me is the included mount. I was a bit skeptical when I first saw this mount because it's made out of plastic, but it seems to be a very hard, durable plastic. I like the option that I can strap that mount to the tree and simply slide my trail camera in place and have full flexibility of tilting back and front. This is especially great if you're mounting this camera high in the tree to keep it out of the hands of thieves or to keep it up out of the line of sight of most people. You can mount it up high in the air and have that built-in mount that allows you to tilt it forward. Of course, if you're not keen on using this mount, you can use the tree strap with the camera just like any other traditional trail camera. So I like the mounting system that's included with this Trace Sighter trail camera. A few other things for the positive column is their double panel solar panel that can power this camera. Now this is an optional equipment. You do not get it with the camera, but they do have it available to buy it separately. I've ran both of my cameras with this double panel solar panel, and I love the solar option to save on batteries. The last few things I'll mention for the positive column are things that I already talked about, but it is that live view. Not many trail cameras offer that live view. I like the idea and the feature to being able to go in and log in live. In fact, if you get a notification that there's an animal in front of your camera, you have the option to click that live view. And if the animal is still standing there, you can watch it in near live time. The other positive is the fact that this camera can send videos right to the app. Many other trail cameras make you request that video, or maybe they'll just give you a video preview in the thumbnail, but this camera actually gives you that full length video. Now you have the choice of downloading the HD version if you want, but without doing that, you have that video right there on the app to watch back exactly what happened. I really like this feature. Now are there things that I think could be improved or things that they should fix with this camera? Well, there are a couple of things that I've experienced. Now, as I already mentioned, they have been releasing pretty regular firmware updates and it has been making this camera better and better. One issue that I was having that the firmware seems to have fixed when I had the camera on video mode, partway through that video, there was a glitch. At about the seven second mark, the video would temporarily pixelate or would for a split second malfunction and then continue to play the video. One other small annoyance that seems to have been resolved, the date or the timestamp down in the bottom of the photos or videos originally had the day first followed by the month and the year. Now I know that's standard in some other countries, but I wanted the option to be able to go into the app and change that and I couldn't find that anywhere. Now since I've been updating my cameras, I can see on the bottom of the recorded photos and videos, I now have the month followed by the day and the year. One other thing that I'll mention in the negative column is that live view feature sometimes fails to connect. Now here on my farm, I don't have great service, but my signal on the camera app shows usually between 40 and 
At 60%, it connects pretty good to that live view, but when I have it at about 40%, again, depending on the location here in my farm, the live view will fail to connect. Sometimes it takes two or three attempts in order for it to connect. Again, this isn't a deal breaker. Many cameras don't even offer this live view, but if you're in an area with very poor signal, that live view feature might not work quite as well. So those were my final thoughts overall. I've been impressed with this camera. In fact, I think they're leading the way in many of the technologies that they integrated into this camera. Now you may have never heard of Camo Jojo before, but rest assured, the way they're leading in the technology that they put into this camera, I think they're gonna be around for a long time to come. So if you have any comments or questions or something maybe I totally missed, please leave me a comment down in the comment section. I love hearing from you. I try and get back to each and every one of you. And many times I can learn from you when you leave me a comment. As always, I wanna thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.